Welcome, welcome, welcome. I've had a few people ask me to do a build video on my main submarine slash boat base that I used on my last white video. If you've not seen that video yet, I'll try and put it on the screen now. If not, there'll be a link in the description. As you can see, it's a simple, compact and low upkeep stability bunker base. Let's take a quick tour of it. I've made one or two improvements from the one in the video because I built it freehand in the video. And one of them here is this um, shop window looking out to the front because I got a door cap like mad. And here that gives you an extra garage door here. So here you've got your normal boat and sub base. That's pretty straightforward. I'm sure you've all seen that before. Got a repair bench. And it's exactly the same on the other side because the base is symmetrical. Having two entrances is always good. There you've got a locker as you can see. That horrible bear rug. That there's the bunker. And you've got your vending machine here. As you can see, there's plenty of garage doors to keep you safe. And this is where you're going to put your low tier loot for storage. There's two four, four box loot rooms and a bedroom for a quick spawn point. You can fit two bags in there if you're using it as a duo. And this here is your roof access. Just make sure the bottom door's closed before you go out onto the roof. So there's no super peaks as uh, defending an online raid in this base would be very difficult. It's obviously not designed for that. This is a bunker. Just take away that. If anybody doesn't know how to do the stability bunker, you put a half wall there, triangle floor there, upgrade the triangle floor, and then you have a bag behind this and you destroy it. That destroys your bunker. So coming into your core now. Got other thing you need, you've got electric furnaces, your tier two, more storage. And here you've got two four box loot room two no one four box loot room and two small boxes. And here is your upkeep. As you can see, it's dirt cheap, as you'd expect in a base like this. Hopefully you're still with me, if you are, let's get into the build. So you start off with a low triangle foundation and have it right on the water's edge. And then you want a raised triangle foundation and build a 2x2 two two with an extra triangle raised foundation. Wall it in with the double door frames. And put a lid on it. this will be your starter base. And that's how you should look. So I'm going to go and upgrade to its final materials now. I'm not going to skip past it, it's a very quick build. These walls can be HQM if you want them to be, it depends how long you're in the white for. And how rich you are obviously. This roof piece will need to be HQM. And here, obviously, you're going to want garage doors at the first opportunity. There you go. Okay, we're going to put honeycomb on the sides and on the back now. I will speed it up in the video so you don't have to, like, watch me upgrade everything slowly.
I think I did this quite fast for me. There you go, you should be looking at something like that now. Obviously you won't have all the metal upgraded yet. So you want another lowered triangle foundation with two raised foundation. That needs to be HQM, make sure that's HQM. Two raised foundations and they need to be HQM too. Now you want a half wall and a full wall on top of it. Delete the half wall and upgrade that to HQM. And another triangle at the top and that needs to be HQM. So that's everything that needs to be HQM is now HQM. You want two raised fi triangle foundations off the side. These will need to be sheet metal. Wall those in. And you want three doors on here. You want two at the side. And one to go into your boat base. So we uh, put a roof on, but here we want to make a jump up. Now you can have a triangle ladder hatch jump up or you can have a half wall jump up. I had half wall because on the triangle ladder hatch jump up, sometimes you can get stuck on the vending machine above it. And don't put that in uh, double door frame down if you're going to have a half wall jump up. So we put a single door frame there because that's where your vending machine is going to go. This is the video. This is, while I was doing this, this is where the guy jumped into the base. And for anyone who hasn't watched it, I let him jump into the base. So here's where you can have your ladder hatch if you want it. I prefer not to, so I have it this way. So you need to build this, this top part when you've got the vending machine and the door both ready. You can't build them at separate times because you leave yourself vulnerable. So now I'm going to wall this part in. This is where your upstairs loot room is going to be, as well as a bedroom, and that there is going to be a jump up. And all this will have to be sheet metal. So the loot rooms up here are going to be eight rockets to raid, so they're not going to be the strongest loot rooms in the world. And then seal yourself in. And of course, all this will need to be sheet metal as well. And our sheet metal next to the vending machine, you don't need to do that part, but it just looks better. Here are very standard loot rooms. Um, I'm going to use uh, 
whatever these things are called, ramps, and make them to metal. And here's where your bedroom's going to go. There you go, there's your upstairs done. So here you want a raised triangle foundation and a square foundation. And exactly the same on the other side because the base is symmetrical. And you want two uh, double door frames and a wall. Or a wall and two double door frames on the other side. There's no need to make all this into sheet metal. This all can uh, be stone. And I don't have a uh, shop window ready. Always something I forget, always. And you'll need some little jump ups outside. That's very dependent on obviously where you build and stuff. Yeah, make sure that's facing uh, outwards, that wall. So this is where your locker goes. And now we get on to the uh, boat base part. So two le more lowered square foundations and even lower square foundations and two more. There's actually two ways you can, there's several ways that you can do, do this part of the base. Probably a good idea to have a diving cell when you do it in the game. Now this part in game I had it like this. This is the way I prefer it. Like that. But you can also have it like that. Have it like this. If you wish to. I'm going to have it like I had it in game. Makes it slightly more expensive, but that's the way I prefer. You stick a lid on this. There you go. There's your base complete. I'll have a proper base build out later on this week. Hopefully I'll see you then.